Children rely on so many adults. They rely on school, they rely on after school care, child care, camps, churches, family members. So what do these programs have in place to recognize and meet the needs of children after a disaster? We have to plan ahead for the unplannable. We have to really try to figure out who is going to be there in the first 24, 48 hours. The Resilient Children Resilient Communities Initiative is a partnership between the National Center for Disaster Preparedness at Columbia University's Earth Institute and Save the Children, funded by a grant from GSK to help communities better prepare for the needs of children in the event of disaster. We have two community resilience coalitions, one in Putnam County, New York, and one in Washington County, Arkansas. They're really doing the hard work of bringing together child-serving institutions with the emergency management sector, with members of the community, and really ensuring that the unique needs of children are met. We are working on coming up with a template that can serve as a scalable, replicable model, sustainable for other agencies, other areas to use throughout the United States. We've been working to bring together groups that are both where children are during the day or where they could end up during a disaster. We were able to test that through a tabletop that we had. Collapsed freeway overpasses, collapsed buildings, widespread power outages, cable and void phones. To hear schools or child care providers say, well, if, if this happened, I'd call 911 and they'd be there. 911 stood up and said, uh, uh, you guys need to be ready to function on your own in a major disaster for about 72 hours. All of those agencies we worked with, we're connecting them to people that maybe they previously weren't connected to and didn't know were out there. Joining the RCRC really made me realize how much more work we have to do and how much better we have to get at just making sure that we are ready for anything. I understand now that we have to have communication amongst all of our different entities out here in the community. If children can get back to normalcy, then the community gets back to normalcy. People can go back to work. They can begin rebuilding their lives. Whether it's individuals who get excited by it and want to go make a change at their household level, that's a, that's a victory. When it's an institution that wants to improve their emergency plan because they realize that it's good, but it could be better, that's a victory. And, and when it comes to a community that says, preparedness is so important that we want to have a big community event about it. We want to talk about it in, on the news. We want to get people excited about it. That's a victory.